It's a mega package of, of support, Andy. I don't think we've seen anything like it in, in recent memory. £9.1 billion pounds to, uh, of government money to support people uh, through a tough time with their energy bills. And we, we know the cause. It's being driven by uh, inflation in energy costs around the world, particularly the gas price spike that we're seeing. We've got to help people. Uh, I think that Rishi's package is extremely good. But he's called uh, it a discount. It, it's not a discount because they will have to pay back that money further down the road, aren't they? Th there's, that's for the £200 slug, yes, but then there's the £150 uh, abatement uh, re reduction on council tax uh, bills for everybody in A to D uh, banned homes. Uh, 27 million homes will qualify, 80% of homes across the whole of the, of the country, and that's more uh, than, a, than a back cut. Now, I accept that people are still going to face uh, costs with their uh, increased costs as a result of, uh, of, of energy bills. And that is happening at the moment, but we are also helping with the, uh, the cold weather payments, the uh, winter fuel allowance and all, the, all those other But you're other also payments. helping the energy Plus, companies, aren't you? You're helping the energy companies because you're providing taxpayers money. They're going to be fine at the end of this. The people paying the bills are going to have to pay the bills back eventually, but the energy company is going to be absolutely fine. The, the main thing is to support the uh, families to support people at a tough time. What's why, not, why not a windfall tax on the energy companies? What's happening right now is that we are going through a, 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 jump, uh, a bumpy period uh, post-COVID uh, and the, the COVID recovery period is seeing uh, inflation, uh, blockages in supply chains as the, as the global economy recovers. And, but and people are can, paying we, the price for it. People are having are. to pay higher bills for that. Why can't you help them more? Why not, for instance, cancel that national insurance rise that's coming okay. in April? OK, so on that, Andy, I think it's very important to understand that a key part of the COVID recovery plan is to make sure that we deal with the, the backlogs that we have. And COVID, you know, it cost huge sums extra for the, for the NHS. But all that time, uh, people weren't getting the elective treatments that they, they needed. So there are now six million people on the waiting list. That's one in, in ten, roughly, of the British uh, people. It's going to go up. It could even double or more. That's a huge, huge problem. But look and, at what people are having to face now. They're having to face higher energy bills. They're having to face a national insurance rise. Interest rates have gone up today. You can't protect them from this, can you? And With what you've done today, you can't protect them. What we, what we are doing is delivering through the... Uh, rollouts of vaccines that we've had, both the, vaccine, the first, the second, and then the booster, the fastest exit from COVID of any, any European economy. But that's not helping but, but people what, with their bills, also, is it? But Prime what we've also got is uh, more people in employment, unemployment coming down to, unemployment coming down to near record lows, youth unemployment uh, down already at a record low. And so, Andy, yes, I, I totally get your point. You know, inflation is an issue. It's a global problem. In America, it's at a levels not seen uh, since the 1980s. Uh, same, in the, same in the European Union. We have a, we have a big, big global uh, crunch caused by everybody coming out of COVID together. So we have to, we have to abate that. Now, and you're looking at people in the eye and saying, this is the most I can do to help you. I think when it comes to taking huge sums of taxpayers' money, £9.1 billion, pounds, transferring it to help people with the costs of their heating uh, and, their, and their, their energy, everybody can see uh, that that's a massive commitment. Now, I, I do want to, we, sorry, what, can, I, can I just, to ask you about one more thing, Prime Minister, yes. which is Munira Mirza, yes. your head of policy at Downing Street, has quit tonight yes. because she says she can't accept what you said about Keir Starmer, suggesting he should have prosecuted Jimmy Savile as DPP. She can't accept that. You must be... You know, Look, I mean, let, me, terrible, let, me, let, me, let, let me just say, uh, first thing, uh, most important thing to say, uh, make it absolutely clear, because people keep going on about this. Uh, I, I, no one is commenting, at least of all me, about the personal involvement of the Leader of the Opposition in the handling of that case. But, you, but that's the, exactly all the, what you no, were doing, no, and clearly it was too much for the near All that uh, I've said uh, and, uh, is that uh, the Leader of the Opposition apologised for the, uh, the, the CPS's handling of that issue during his tenure. And that's, and that's all, that I frank, frankly, that needs to be said on then, that matter. But as then, for, no, as just for, bit, as why, is one of your, one is, why is one of your oldest political allies, 14 years she's worked with you, very close to you in Downing Street, she has quit. It's obviously not, you know, it's all very well you saying all I said was, you know, he apologised about it. It was too much for her. I mean, and, clearly, and you, I, you must look, regret I'm, that now. Of course. And I'm sorry to, to lose Munira. She's done an outstanding job. She's been a, 
a, a wonderful uh, colleague for a long time. And, she's, and, and she has been instrumental in delivering all sorts of fantastic policies uh, in London and now in the, uh, in the government of, uh, of the UK. And she what called, she believes she, in, she called it an inappropriate she, and partisan in, reference what, to a case of child sex abuse that you had well, brought up. Well, I, I don't agree with that.